and it is all true. These stories prove that sometimes urban legends contain more truth than we may realize. Hi, I'm Mr. Mysterious, and today we'll be looking into five creepy urban legends that turned out to be true. Waking up trapped in the morgue. One of the things that people fear about hospitals is checking in and never checking out. However, there may be something worse than that. Imagine you're on your way to the intensive care unit when you pass out. The next time you wake up, it's cold. It seems like you're freezing or are surrounded by ice. What's more, the place is quiet and it's dark everywhere. It's hard to take a breath and it's even harder to try to move your body. You're not buried alive. No, the doctors have just assumed that you are dead. You've been body bagged and chunked into a fridge at the morgue. The worst part is the cabinets cannot be opened from the inside. In 2011, an 80-year-old great-grandmother by the name of Maria de Jesus Reo was taken to the White Memorial Hospital in Los Angeles, where doctors assumed she was dead because of her age. Maria was then transferred to the morgue while the doctors and nurses went on with their day-to-day -day duties, feeling satisfied with a job wrongly done. Later, when Mrs. Arreo's body was scheduled to be transferred for the funeral, the funeral home employees found her lying face down on the floor on the refrigeration chamber. They decided to poke her with the longest possible stick they could find to try to see if she was really alive or if they were dreaming. They later discovered that her body bag was partially unzipped and she was covered in bruises and cuts, and her nose was also broken. It was later discovered that when the doctors pronounced her dead, she was only unconscious. She stayed that way as they zipped her up and took her to the morgue. Miraculously, she woke up and panicked. All those cuts and bruises that the funeral home employees discovered were self-inflicted as she tried to find her way out of the refrigerator. The Legend of the Green Man If you are one of the people who grew up in or around Pittsburgh, there's a good chance that you spent most of your childhood life horrified about Charlie No-Face, or the Green Man, who was believed to meander lonely country lanes and dark paths at night. The legend goes that the Green Man lost his face, idiotically playing near power lines. The story is based on a real person named Raymond Robinson. Robinson was seriously injured in an electrical accident when he was still a young boy. He lost his eyes one arm, one ear, and his nose. Additionally, his skin was seriously damaged to a point where the color of his skin became unrecognizable. This is where the phrase green in green man came from. Robinson felt that he was disliked by his community, and he therefore decided to live in the streets of western Pennsylvania. Raymond could only be seen out in the night when everyone else was asleep. He developed a habit of walking around the streets at night so that he would not scare people with his looks. It is said that monsters only exist in our dreams. But sometimes, a monster can be that friend of yours that only waters his or her backyard flowers at night. For the rest of his life, Robinson lived a lonely life, only leaving his house at night because he did not want to give children nightmares. Just like any other kid, Raymond thought that it would be cool playing around an electrified trolley bridge. Electricity had only recently been discovered, and parents didn't bother to teach their children the basics about electricity. This story teaches us that we should always be watchful of our children and teach them about the basics of life. The Dead Body Beneath Your Mattress this legend is based on a couple who checked into a hotel and had to put up with a bad smell all night. They decided to seek help from one of the staff members. Fortunately, one of the staff discovered that the smell was coming from under the bed. The staff turned the mattress and discovered that the couple had been sleeping over the decaying body of a dead girl. Imagine yourself in such a scenario. 
Surprisingly, this urban legend turned out to be true in Las Vegas. What's more, Kansas City and New Jersey also experienced the same bizarre story. This event has also occurred several times in Florida and California. Let's just say that nowadays, hotel beds have become a great hiding place for dead bodies. And the more you think about these stories, the more you realize the truth in them. It is true that under the bed, as well as the closet, are the two most popular places to hide things. So it's not surprising to find dead, rotting bodies hidden in these places. As a matter of fact, there is a good chance that once couples fight in a hotel room and one ends up dead, the most convenient place to hide the body is under the bed. The event will be more interesting when you try to hide the body and discover that there's another body already hidden there. The strangest part about this legend is that most killers don't plan to kill. They just kill and try to find the most convenient way to dispose of the body without getting noticed. Many people have slept under rotting bodies without knowing it, so it's advisable to report any strange feeling or smell to the management of the hotel before you decide to sleep on that bed. The Ice Woman An individual is taken to the hospital, completely frozen and declared dead. The doctor reaches out for his pen to tap the body to see if there are any reactions. He later declares that he is dead and the presumed body is taken to the morgue before any child can mistake it for an ice cream. The story gets interesting when the body melts and starts to stir and finally rises to its feet and walks out of the morgue as if nothing has happened. There's a story about an individual who found his neighbor, by the name Jean Hilliard, frozen as snow. Jean was really frozen like a turkey in a grandma's deep freeze. It is reported that her body was too frozen to be pierced with a needle. What's more, her temperature was too low to register, and when she was rushed to the hospital, she was loaded into the car slantways like a piece of wood from Home Depot. Those who saw her say she was literally stone cold dead. When she arrived at the hospital, the doctors tried to thaw her out, but her chances of survival were too low. Even if she was still alive, all the medical reports suggested that she would at least have some severe brain damage or frostbite. As she was wrapped into an electric heating pad, her eyelids started to flutter, and after some time, she melted completely returning back to life as if nothing had happened. Surprisingly, she showed no ill effects, no brain damage and no frostbite, not even any burns associated with freezing. She literally came back from the dead, safe and sound. The Funhouse Mummy the legend is, a prop at a carnival was discovered to be made of human skin and bone, instead of the usual combination of carny spit and paper mache. It turned out that all the children at the haunted house had been staring at a real, mummified, dead body. In the year 1976, a camera crew filming an episode of the series, The Six Million Dollar Man, began to set up in the haunted house at the New Pike Amusement Park in Long Beach, California. Just as they were moving inside, an incident of a hanging man appeared. They accidentally knocked off his arm and realized that it contained human bones inside. The story gets weird. The body they discovered was later identified to be that of a criminal mastermind, Elmer McCurdy, who was believed to have been shot dead after robbing a train in 1911. Today, McCurdy's body is buried in Oklahoma, since McCurdy had one of the most interesting corpses in history, his casket was not covered by concrete. What is your favorite urban legend? Tell me in the comments section. If you find it mysterious, then share and like this video. Also be sure to subscribe because you really don't want to miss what is coming next. As always, thank you for watching.